Now those are some fresh deer tracks. What is that, Lucy? So for the past week or so, I've had my camera set up right on this, this tree right here. We've got a bird feeder in it, our maple syrup and stuff's right there. It's uh, an apple tree. It had quite a bit of apples in it this year. So that's what they're kind of digging up. The deer have been coming in here. Actually, there's an apple right there. You can kind of see one right there. They're not the prettiest apples, but it's a wild apple tree and the deer don't seem to mind. I'll include some of the pictures I got over the past week at the end of this video. I'll probably throw in a dozen or so. It had, I came to check the camera the other day and it had right around 200, <clears throat> maybe 250 pictures or so that I had to file through. So I'll include about a dozen of the best ones. The snow has settled down to about four inches. It was up to about six or so the other day after the snow fell. Actually, just after my last video was when this snow fell, so. But this will mostly all be gone after the next two days. We're supposed to get up into the 50s today and tomorrow and get about an inch of rain. Um, so most of this, if not all of this, will be gone. It's been kind of a wild year for the cycles between freeze and thaw and freeze and thaw. Which typically makes for a lot of ice, but we really haven't had a lot of snow this year. So thankfully we haven't had to deal with too, too much ice. We did have one storm with a lot of sleet and freezing rain. Um, but it didn't last long because it warmed up at the end of that storm and it all thawed out. I do have both dogs with me right now, Mila and Lucy. We're gonna go out and see. Look at all the deer tracks. Morning dove. These are all pretty fresh tracks too. You can tell because the snow, it's been really cold. Yesterday morning was right around zero. This morning has been, is the first morning where we're right around freezing already as that warm air comes in. And these tracks are all really new. You can see the snow has been kicked up. So I'm sure these deer aren't too far out there. There's a couple of good sized sets too. I'm gonna head out just a little bit further again to see if there's a good, a better place to put my camera. If not, I'll head right back to that last spot that I had it at. Snow is actually wet down here. That track right there is a pretty good size. Here's my boot print. I still haven't seen recent pictures of that nice eight or nine point buck that was hanging out out here since hunting season. So I'm hoping that he's still out here and he didn't get shot, but the only way to find out is to keep putting my camera out and see if I can get some more pictures of him now that hunting season's over. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm following these really good trails. Look at this trail right here. This is all deer tracks. So I'm gonna try to find a good spot to put the camera and um, see if he's still out here. Of course, I'm not gonna see anything with these guys. Right, Myla? Miley, your ears flipped inside out. Where's Lucy? Right below our big brush piles. There's Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Let's go see if we can't find a good spot to put this.
kind of like I figured would be the case. There's this thick area of balsam fir right in here on this little ridge. Some nice deer bed right here. That's one. There's another one there, two. Another one there, three, four, five, six, seven. They're everywhere in here. Eight. That's a big one. Nine. Ten. Wow, there's deer tracks everywhere in here. And then there's a kind of a big area here that's all matted down. Eleven. Probably a dozen or so deer beds in here. I'm going to find a good spot to put my camera right in this area. Of course, the dogs are leaving their scent everywhere, so watch the deer stay away from this area now that there's some dog scent in here. But we'll see. I've done this before. I've taken the dogs with me before, and it doesn't seem to phase the deer whatsoever. So I'm sure that they're probably watching and listening, listening to us right now. Not too far out there. Yeah, so I'm gonna put my camera in somewhere in this thick balsam fir area where there's a lot of um, activity. The challenge is finding a good tree to put it on um, in an area that's open enough to get good pictures. Because what'll happen is if you put it in an area like this where it's really thick, it's kind of tough to get a good clear shot. The camera will try to focus on some of the trees and not on the actual deer. Um, but if you can find an area that has kind of a lane, a good clear lane for good pictures, typically it'll take a really good picture. Um, it'll kind of blur out the trees on the sides a bit and it'll focus on the deer itself. So I'm gonna see if there's a spot in here that I can get a good good lane to set up because this is where most of the deer activity is. All right, I found a good spot. I'm hoping you can see in this camera image here, the balsam fir, the thick area balsam fir where I was just showing you where all the deer activity is. I'm gonna set it right up on this big pine tree here facing that way. There we go, that ought to do it. Should be a good spot. And there are, are those brush piles that we've got. And there's a really good deer trail that comes right down through here. Here's the tree I've got my camera on. And there's the thick balsam fir on this ridge right here that the deer have been bedding in. And I've got it kind of facing right into that area. 
So we'll see what happens. I'll leave it out here for maybe another week or so, and then I'll come check it out. Myla, come on. What are you doing? Huh? Of course, with all those deer around, we're kind of nervous. We've got all these apple trees that we have planted. You can see them all. Got like a little mini orchard going, as well as two peach trees and two pear trees down below there. And the deer love to nip these guys during the winter. They don't do severe damage, but they will chew the tips off of all of these trees if we don't protect them. Um, and it's pretty difficult protecting them, to be completely honest because you can't just spray something on them because it's freezing, it's below freezing, so it doesn't really work. And they're almost to the point now where they're too big to really cover them with anything. So we have kind of a tough time protecting them. They're getting big enough to the point now where they um, won't be affected too much by the deer, but I mean, all the deer activity that we've been seeing and where I had my camera set up this most recent time was just down in the woods down there where it's kind of, you can see the snow on the ground still in the open um, below that kind of bigger maple tree right in the middle of the picture, right in this area here. So they're not very far away. It's only a matter of time before they find their way up here and they start chewing on these trees. Hopefully not, but chances are they will with them being that close. Hey guys, looks like they're loving that balsam fir and pine boughs pile that we have there that we use for decorating. They've chewed it up pretty good. I threw a couple new pieces in there the other day. Jovi here is just chewing on one of them. Huh, Jovi, you like that? And Joplin in the back, eating her hay. Millie's just kind of hanging out. I'm sure they're going to enjoy the warmer temps the next couple days after yesterday's zero degree morning. 50 isn't going to feel too bad, even if it is raining. All right, I think I'm gonna go put the dogs in and then head back out in the woods, see if I can't see any of those deer. I know that they're not too far out there, so. And it's really quiet walking right now with this snowpack. Now that the temps have warmed up a little bit, the snow is a little bit looser and a little bit softer, so you can, you can sneak around pretty quietly. So I'm gonna go see if I can't find anything. Okay, so you guys see that chicken right there? It's one of our new chickens that we got this spring as a, as a baby. And she's an escape artist. The pen is completely closed up and she gets out every single day. She got into this habit of coming up to the house when there wasn't any snow on the ground this late summer and early fall. And she always comes to lay her egg up somewhere near the house. She'll go in the garage sometimes. She'll go around the garage behind our wood pile it's always kind of a mystery, like an, an egg hunt, trying to find where she lays her egg. Well, apparently she doesn't mind the snow at all, and she still tries to come up here. So I'm going to go give her a hand, because there's no stopping her, I guess. And we'll bring her up towards the garage. All right. I've got her. <laughs> uh, we're going to bring her up, just so she doesn't have to walk through the... Uh, walk through the snow and freeze her feet. You have a dirty tail. Huh? Yeah, you're welcome. You see yourself on camera? 
<laughs> what do you think? That chicken has quite the personality. It's pretty funny. You wouldn't think that a bird would, but they do for sure. I'm in the process right now of trying to find fresher tracks. There's tons of deer tracks in here, so it's the challenge isn't finding them, it's trying to decipher which ones are newer so that I can follow them. There's so many of them out here, and the snow's been on the ground now for about a week, and we haven't had any melting or any new snow, so the tracks that are out here all look pretty similar. Like I was saying earlier, the only difference is finally this morning it's right around freezing, so the snow's a little bit softer, and you can kind of get an indication of at least the tracks from last night. So, there's another deer bed right there. That's a small one. So we'll see if I can't find some good new tracks. Like this right here looks pretty new. The snow around it's all loosened up. So I'm assuming the deer went out that way. It's kind of thicker cover out there than it is out here. I think they spend their nights hanging out in these areas because there's a lot of big oak trees mixed in with these pines where there's a lot of acorns. Um, so they'll come out to eat that. Whereas during the day, they want to stay more hidden. They come into the thicker woods. So that's where I'm gonna head. It's pretty nice out here this morning. It's always nice out here. Anytime you can get out in the woods. I do hear a little bit of traffic this morning. We don't always hear traffic here. Um, but if the air is just right, like right now, we've got a south flow with this storm coming in, this big rainstorm coming in. So the closest, bigger road to us is to the south. So whenever we've got a southerly, a strong southerly flow, you can hear a little bit of traffic, but it's not too bad. All right, I'm on a pretty good trail right now with a lot of new tracks, so I'm gonna try to be a little quieter and uh, see if I can't see anything. We'll check back in a bit. That's a really good sized deer track right there. You can see how the snow looks kind of powdery around it. The snow is not powdery right now. It's got a, a, like a sticky consistency to it with a temp right around freezing. So that shows me that that's a newer track. So I'm gonna follow that one. They're all pretty new right in this area though. I think I found their trail from last night. And like I thought, they're heading out into the thick woods. It's gonna to be tough to see anything, but I'll probably get out in there and hear them take off. And I'll try to get a, a quick camera shot at them to see, uh, see if we can't see them. There's even some coyote tracks out here. I know they're not from our dogs because I'm a lot further out than I came with the dogs. And I know there's coyote out here, quite a bit of them. I haven't had any pictures on my camera of them recently, but they're out here still. We hear them all the time. I'm on this, this deer highway. I'm actually kind of in the same area as my last video, heading kind of out towards those fields again. It's where the deer seem to love it out here. As you can see, there's a lot of good cover, big tall pine trees, and then this really low, thick balsam fir, um, which really gives them good cover during, during storms and windy, cold days and stuff. It's where they tend to hide. This is all deer tracks. As you can see, there's still snow in the trees out here. It's a little more protected from the wind, which is why the deer come out here all the time. Still haven't seen or heard anything yet. The trouble with 
snow that's like this is you can probably hear my footsteps a little bit. It's got a little bit of a crunch to it from the stickiness. But it's a bit quieter. Well, it's really quiet for the deer. So when they take off running, you can't even hear them. Another deer bed there, one there. Well, it's pretty difficult to get a glimpse of them in that thick stuff. So I'm heading back towards the house. They're out here somewhere. I actually see the field up towards the house up there. I guess that's why I've got the camera. Yep, another deer bed right there. We'll leave it up to the camera to get some good pictures of them. If I had a little more time, I'd hang out more out here. Do a little bit more hiking around to see if I can't find them. I also don't want to disrupt their, their normal activity too much. I want them to keep hanging out in this area and not scare them off. So I can keep getting pictures of them. All right guys, I'll include, like I was saying, about a dozen or so of those photos that I got on my game camera over the past week or so. There's some really good ones on there. So I'll hang out to check those out. I'll kind of put them in like a slideshow format. If you haven't, now's a great time to hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you like videos like this, um, let me know what you guys want to see in the comments. Um, I'll do what I can for videos and share away if you could. If you know anybody that um, likes videos like this, um, deer tracking, um, pretty much anything nature related, I'm going to be doing some different videos. Um, let them know about my channel. That'd be great. Um, until next time. Thanks for watching.